Welcome to part 3 of LCM that is least common multiple. In the first and second part we have seen how to find out the LCM of 2 or 3 given numbers by prime factorization method or by simply writing the multiples of the number. For example if I have 2 and I keep writing the multiples of 2 and I have to find out the LCM of 2 and 3. So the multiples of 2 will be 2, 4, 6. And here in that case of 6, it will be 3, 6, 9. So the common multiple will be 6 in case of 2 and 3 when I have to find out the LCM. So this is how we write the multiples and then find out the least common multiple. There is another method called as prime factorization method which we had seen earlier also in last part. And today we will be doing some applications on that. Here I have to find out the LCM of 8, 10 and 12. So let's start with the prime factorization method. I write all the three numbers together and then start finding out the common factor which is which should be the common factor of at least two numbers out of these. But here as I see all three are even numbers. So I can put a 2 here, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12. See, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, this is how first of all we find out the common factor. Once again, I see that these two are even numbers. So, one more 2 can be here. 2, 2s are 4. 5 will remain as it is because it is not divisible by 2. And 2, 3s are 6. See how we find out this 4 divided by 2 is 2. 5 will remain as it is. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now as I see that there is no common factor between 2, 5 and 3. So what I do is I write all the factors and multiply them. 2 into 2, 2, 5 and 3 are left. So 2, 5 and 3. When I multiply these, 5, 3 is 15 into 2 is 30, 13 into 2 is 60, 16 into 2 is 120. So 120 is the least common multiple of 8, 10 and 12. We can check it out also because 120 divisible is, is it divisible by 8 or not? By 10 and by 12. Yes, definitely 120 by 8, 120 by 10 and 120 by 12 gives me a whole number. So that means it is the correct LCM. Let's see another example. Now here I am learning the application of LCM. Earlier we have found out that the LCM of 8, 10 and 12 is 120. But here the question is a little different. Find the greatest 4 digit number. The LCM was 120. 120 is a 3 digit number. But I want to find out the greatest 4 digit number which is divisible by 8, 10 and 12. So the greatest 4 digit number is definitely 4 times 9. So this is my greatest number. 4 digit number 9999. Nine, nine, nine. But is it divisible by 8? No, not at all. By 10? Doesn't seem to be. And by 12 also. Because 12 is an even number, so this is not divisible. But we have to find out any number which is just less than this and it is the greatest multiple of these three numbers. So let's see how to do it. What I do is I divide this number by the LCM. LCM in the last step we have found out 8, 10 and 12 gives me the LCM of 120. So I divide this number, the greatest 4 digit number by 120. 120 into 8 is 960. A simple division. I am doing a simple division. Now 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 6 is 3. And here it's 9 minus 9 is 0. This comes down 399. Now 120 into 3. 120 into 3 gives me 360. When I subtract, I get 9 and 3. So this is my remainder which I am getting after dividing to, uh, 4 times 9. That is 9999 9, 9, 9 by 120. I am getting this remainder. I am not going to use this. This is my the thing which I have to use. That is the remainder. What I do is... I subtract this remainder from the greatest 4 digit number and then what I get finally is my number 
which I require that is the greatest four digit number which is divisible by 8, 10 and 12. So this is how we find out the greatest number which is divisible by three given numbers or four given numbers. The first step is to find out the LCM then write the greatest four digit number or if in the question it is six digit number then write the greatest six digit number divide the LCM by that the LCM will be the divisor this will be the dividend and then we keep doing the calculations when I get the remainder I subtract the remainder from the four digit number that is the greatest four digit or the greatest six digit number Finally, what I get is my answer. In this question, I have made a very slight modification. That is, the find the greatest 5-digit number which is divisible by 8, 10 and 12. Earlier, we have done the 4-digit number. The procedure will be just the same. We find out the LCM first because we have already done and we know that the LCM is 120. So, we write the greatest 5-digit number here first. 5 times 9 is definitely the greatest five digit number then I divide this number by the LCM of these three numbers the LCM was 120 once again I know that 180 120 into 8 is 960 here I am left with 39 and then this 9 comes down 399 120 into 3 will be 360 I am left with 39 once again and this 9 comes down a 120 to 3 is 360 and final remainder is 39 so my final remainder is 39 which I have to subtract from the greatest 5 digit number to get a number which is divisible by 8 10 and 12 and also it is the greatest 5 digit number there so I write this number which I had taken earlier and then subtract the remainder from this. Finally, I get this number which is a 5 digit number divisible by 8, 10 and 12. Hope you are liking all our videos. So, send in your suggestions and queries in the comment box. Share the videos with your friends and press the bell icon for the latest information on all the videos of Maths and English. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. Idea Inkling.